So what is a pilgrimage? Well, a pilgrimage is defined as journeying with purpose on foot to a holy place. Journeying with purpose on foot to a holy place. And the Bible is full of pilgrimages. So Abraham, one of the early followers of God, one of the people God called to start his family, his tribe, travels from Turkey to the desert of Negev on his way to the promised land. An amazing pilgrimage. The Israelites travel from Egypt through the desert to the promised land again. The Judeans return from Babylon to Jerusalem after the exile on this pilgrimage. And three times a year, the Jewish people would um, travel to Jerusalem to sacrifice and to worship at the temple, a pilgrimage that Jesus and his disciples did a number of times. And all through history, individuals and groups have engaged with this idea of pilgrimage. For Christians, those pilgrimages became ritualized in Celtic Christianity in the medieval era and in modern Christianity as well. People pilgrimaging to places like Jerusalem, Rome, Canterbury, Linda's Farm, and a whole host of other places that have significance um, to the Christian faith. But the Bible doesn't just use pilgrimage as a physical journey. It also uses pilgrimage. The idea of pilgrimage is a picture of our journey with God. A journey that has a beginning, a point where we enter into this journey, and then a journey where um, we actually travel somewhere, and then a journey that has a destination. And all sorts of people in the Bible talk about the Christian life that way. So Peter, in 1 Peter, one of the letters that he wrote, talks about us being exiles in this world. And the word there that he used for exiles is actually the word pilgrims, that we're foreigners in this place on a journey somewhere else. The Apostle Paul talks about us running the race um, of faith with our eyes fixed on Jesus, the goal, the destination of our pilgrimage. And more recently, authors such as John Bunyan with his Pilgrim's Progress and people like Geoffrey Chaucer with his Canterbury Tales, so stories told on a pilgrimage from London to Canterbury, have kept going with this idea of the Christian walk, the Christian life being a pilgrimage.